Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Welcome to A Toast to the Men with your guy, S.D. Booker. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for hitting that like button. Telling you guys the subscription is going up and up every day, and I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Yes, you. It's very important that you hit the like button for the algorithm to move me ahead on the list of suggestions. It's important for the algorithm. Hit that like button. Let's go. Now, this topic, how to get people to buy into your business. Very important. I see on Facebook, particularly a lot, people complaining that uh, people, uh, primarily friends and family, do not support their service or their business. And I can see some reasons why, you know, um, I don't reach out to these people. You know, people get sensitive. Hey, they, they never think it's their fault. Uh, but I'm not, not one to coddle anyone. I always bring it back to self. I don't blame others. So I always look at what can I do differently? Why are people not supporting me? Right? Uh, so I don't use... The excuse, man, I got haters or all that. Nah, let me look within. What am I doing? Let me change it, right? <clears throat> so these are some suggestions uh, on what you can do to get people to support your service, your product, buy into your product, your business, right? First thing, post. Yes, P-O-S-T. Post, post, post. Post on Twitter, post on IG. Uh, post on YouTube, post on Facebook. Uh, what else? What else is out there, man? Post anywhere, any social media outlet. Post, post, post. Uh, I can't stress that enough. So uh, I know people uh, get concerned about what other people think of them. You know, they think, man, I wonder if I'm posting too much. No, keep posting. Put your feelings to the side. Don't worry about what someone else thinks. If they don't like it, they can unfollow you. They can unfriend you. But this is about business. Post, post, post. Ram it down their throats. I'm telling you, it works. It works. Another thing, <clears throat> when you post, open up the security on Facebook so people can share it. Right? You want people to be able to share your posts. You'll be surprised. You could have 10 to 20 shares on a post and that allows you to have more eyes on your product and service. So open it up. I don't think people are aware sometimes that security is locked down on it, but make sure you check on that, that it's available to share. IG, do not make your profile private if you're running a business. Doesn't you know it doesn't make any sense if you're pushing a service, a brand, or a product? Why is your page private? Right now, if it's a personal page, hey, I get it. You may have some stuff going on, you don't want anyone just following you. I get it. So, you may need to create two different pages one for personal that's private, one for business that's opened up. Right? But you can't, you can't have it private, you can't have security locked down if you're serious about running a business, right? Second thing, image. Image is very important. <clears throat> and I see a lot of people that are not aware of how important their image is, the image they portray. Now, I'm not saying dead fake, but, and I don't think it should be fake. I think you should be genuine and uh, honest about who you are, but maybe some people don't need to see all of you. Right, I'm telling you, it could be a turn off. It's a turn off for me, and I know I've heard other people say it's a turn off for them and will deter them from buying into your service or product. What I mean by that is one day you're pushing a product or service, right? The next day you're beefing with someone, you're cussing somebody out, you're threatening someone, uh, you're going in, you got nudity out there uh, 
sexual exploits out there, whatever, man. You, you just, you're unbalanced. You're going everywhere with it, but you want people to buy into a product or service, a legitimate product or service, right? It just doesn't work like that. People don't have faith in you, right? They don't have faith in you and they're not gonna buy into you. So before anyone buys your product or service, they must buy into you because you are a product. You know, you gotta remember that you are a product. So you gotta be consistent about the image you portray and put your feelings to the side. You know, you gotta decide, am I using social media for entertainment? Or am I using social media as a business outlet? You gotta make up your mind because your image is tied to your business. It, it just is, right? I can't sell a book titled A Toast to the Men and then I'm constantly bashing men. A Toast to the Men is a celebration of men. Now, that's not making it like we can do no wrong. You know, that's delusional. But I can't bash men. I can't be a Derrick Jackson, but then sell a book called A Toast to the Men. That doesn't even make sense. It's not consistent, right? So I have to be aware of my image. That Now, that's just naturally uh, not me to bash men like that. But, hey, just letting you know, some things you got to turn off if you're serious about the business. You got to turn it off. Everybody doesn't need to see every side of you if you're serious about the business. Number three, tell a story. Tell a story, a compelling story, a realistic story, a transparent story about how you started the service, about how you started the brand, about how you created the product. Tell a story. This shirt I'm wearing here. From Dope Boy to Hope Boy, that's by my boy Rico Alexander, right? He has testimonials on social media, Facebook and IG, about how he got to this point, how he became a Hope Boy from a Dope Boy. He got stories. He got a story about that. Now he's a vegan chef. And amongst other things, he has a, a few other businesses. But he, he tells a story. He's transparent, right? On social media. I tell a lot about myself, you know, I'm transparent a lot about my past, my, my struggles, my triumphs and my struggles. I'm transparent, pulling on that emotional cord, 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 you know, so people can relate to you. If people can't relate to you, they don't know if they can really trust you. So again, telling that story allows them to buy into you, build that trust, build that rapport, and then they'll buy into the product, right? So that, that's very important, having a story. And, you know, don't lay it on too thick. Make it real. Make it transparent and honest because people can see through that. But you definitely have a story. Again, I touched on this, <clears throat> but consistency. Consistency is very important. Um, People are watching that. You got to show up to work. You know, you want to have perfect attendance. And you can't post one day and not post another day. You also got to be consistent in your product you provide, the service you provide, right? The cake I purchased from you the first time was, hey amen, off the chain. But then I got it again, it's like, whoa, something missing from this. I give you the benefit of doubt. I purchase it again, something's off. I'm done, I'm done, man. You gotta be consistent. And I know when you're making products, especially food, it can be challenging, it can be, you know, uh, Kind of difficult being consistent, but man, I don't care if you have to write those ingredients down, the recipe down. Do what you have to do to make sure that product is consistent. If you have a lawn service, if you have a moving company, be consistent. Be consistent. Be professional and be consistent. You know, where people can depend on you. It goes a long way. I'm telling you, good news does travel. 
but bad news travels faster. Believe that, right? Another thing, finish the work. I see so many times where people will start a business, work it hard, push it hard, or service, push it hard for three months, then stop cold turkey. And then they're on to the next service of business. And they push that a good three months and stop. And then they're on to the next. People do not have faith in you. They don't have faith in you, man. They uh, they take you for a joke. And so what you want to do, you want to build that trust up with the people, with the public, with your friends and family. And, uh, you know, friends and family, they're up close to it. They go, oh, there she goes again. There he goes again. Another business. They're just waiting. They're just waiting for you to quit on it. So you got to finish the work. You got to have thick skin. You got to persevere. You know, you got to be stubborn in this. You got to be stubborn. And uh, when it's tough, you got to keep doing it. When you don't want to feel like doing it, you got to do it. Because it's bigger than you. You got people that are trying to buy into you or have bought into you. They're, they want to give you money. And, you know, you you quit, right? You quit. You're not consistent. And some people are just sitting back waiting before they buy into it. They may need the product or service or want it, but they're sitting back and waiting before they actually buy into it. <clears throat> now, some people may not even need or want your product, <clears throat> but they will reward you and buy it just because you were consistent. I'm telling you, consistency and you finishing that work, you going to the finish line with it and not flip-flopping is honorable. And people will reward that. Trust me, they will. Right? So always remember that. First thing, your image. And I'm going to close up, but be aware. Be cognizant of your image. Right? Be consistent. Finish your work. Tell a story. All right? Hey, let me know if this helps y'all. Hey, have tough skin. From me to you, love. Peace.